Hey everyone, it's really late at night, but, and I apologize for the lighting, um, in just a minute I'll turn my flash on, but, um, I have some packages that came in really late, um, I was at the hospital all day with my dad, we thought he had a heart attack, but luckily he didn't, so I'm really, really tired, but it's crazy because I had so many packages come in. My friend Gary sent me my, it was like 15 or 16 Momiji dolls from England, and I'll have a video on that. Um, because my channel is so diverse now, I had people who watch for the candle reviews. I had people who watch for kind of the doll stuff that Hannah and I do. Um, I have some people that subscribe for the monthly. Uh, sometimes we do monthly boxes, which Noelle doesn't know. But I just signed her up for this brand new Marvel box that's going to come every two months. And it's expensive, but I'm excited to see. She doesn't know that's coming. So, anyway, so this video is going to be for my BJD lovers, and those are ball jointed dolls. Um, because there's a whole community of people out there who love uh ball jointed dolls. Um, I haven't officially introduced anyone to my dolls. Um, just because they're new, like I've taken them to work, and because I've talked about them so so much, my coworkers know about them. Yes, sorry, that's my cat. Yeah. Um, I got in my first resin dolls. Um, and one day I'll show you all my dolls, but, um, these are quite expensive and, um, they're just really pretty. Um, this is my fairyland Chloe. She is a little fee, so she's smaller. Please don't knock my camera down. Caesar. And, uh, it's my cat. And, um... So anyway, in just a second, I got a little fee and a mini fee, and I just wanted to show you guys, I got some packages in from different countries. I don't know where this one's from. Um, one is from the U.S., but I've been getting a lot of packages from Greece, the Philippines. There was one from somewhere I couldn't even pronounce, like... They've been having clothes come from all over the world. Um, the lady who made this outfit on Etsy, it's um, New Banded, is from the Philippines. I forget where this guy's from, but he's super nice. And I didn't know it was a guy who made the clothes. And wait till y'all see them. They're really cute. Um, so, yeah, my dolls have clothes from all over the world. They should feel like celebrities. So, anyway, um, I'm just going to do a package opening of some things that I have ordered from Etsy. I like to support small business around the world, so I support Etsy. And so let's see what they got in. So I hope my camera does not fall too much. Um, I haven't, like, renamed them yet. Um, but my box opening video is up if you want more information on them. They are Fairyland dolls. Um, and this is a mini fee. I forget how tall she is, about 42 centimeters. I think it's like 16 inches. I could be wrong. And offhand, I don't know my little fee's height, but they are really, really pretty dolls. And Hannah and I have a lot of fun dressing them up, playing with them. I would not, for the price of them, <clears throat> I'm so sorry, excuse me, I have a cold. When you're spending, like, the little one, she was, like, almost $400. And then this one was, like... I don't know, maybe almost 500 something like that. I could be wrong. Somewhere between four and 500 because she's quite a bit bigger. Not for little girls, obviously, but um, my little girls are pretty good at... Um, they know with my stuff, like, you know, don't mess it up. And, when, and, and I'm with them when they touch these particular dolls, but they're used to handling my Momiji dolls, so I just kind of want to put that out there because a lot of people have asked me questions, and I think they think they're Barbies, and they are not Barbies. They are actually collector dolls, and people are like, why would you spend that money? What do you do with them? You know, we just dress them up. We take pictures. We have fun. Um, it's not a hobby that's for everybody, and it's definitely not a cheap hobby. Okay, so the first thing I got, and I love when you order from Etsy, like, they just decorate the packages. It's so cute. Um... I'm trying to think... Okay. I got this little note, and it's from Milk Bunny Boutique on Etsy. Look at the little Rila Kuma paper. Here, you guys can hold that, since this is for you. Um, I got her this for my mini fee. I got her this super cute blazer, 
tell me that is not adorable. Like, I wear blazers to work, so I wanted her to have that. And they threw in these free uh, little gold bracelets. So that is super, super cute. Like, I saw it, and I was like, I need this blazer for my doll. The next package I got, and I did have to wait quite some time. So I actually only ordered three things, but... Um, I just found him on Instagram. I think it's a he. Um, so I looked. It had the little Instagram tag. And I want to say it's autumn clothing. I don't know if that will focus or not. But um, there it is. And they are on Etsy. So there's the site. Um, but... I did, and, and it shows a guy, which I'm, like, really impressed. Like, if if legitimately a guy is making these clothes, like, kudos to you. But anyway, it's cutely wrapped, and I do see four packages. And like I said, I only ordered three things, but um, he had to wait on some fabrics to come. And I was totally okay with that, because I had so many other packages. And honestly, my dolls had, hadn't even arrived yet, so I was totally cool with that. Here. We'll do something with that ribbon. Um, but yeah, I just thought how beautifully it was wrapped. So, just wanted to put that shout out out there. Oh, look, it's got little tape on it. Love is merely madness. Oh, that's so cute. Like, I really enjoy ordering from Etsy. I feel like I'm opening little presents every time I get a package. Oh my goodness. It's zipper close. Oh, almost threw that away. Oh, yeah. It comes with a choker. I hope I don't lose that. So, this has a little snap. Ooh, bow, don't lose it. It has a little snap. This is a choker to go around her neck. And it is stretchy, by the way. Wow. Ooh, this has some nice weight to it beautiful oh my goodness I know y'all can't see this so <clears throat> it's got this really pretty lacy bow with just tulle all over it it's very glittery in person um it's got the fabric has some stretch to it I didn't know it had a zippered back it's kind of rare in doll clothes to see zippered backs Let's see how well. I'm kind of a stickler when it comes to sewing. So when you're paying a lot for doll clothes, um, pretty much more than <laughs> or uh, what you would pay for yourself, I like to make sure that they are well made. So I, one thing I always do, because not all clothes are made the same, especially when you're ordering off Etsy, they are made by everyday people. I like to see how they're made. This seems to be made pretty well. I love the fabric. And again, I'm just checking everything out. I really like that. So here again, here's the back of the dress. And then here's the front. So, I love, love, love that. Oop. The camera will not stay up. I don't know why. So, there is. I just know I'm going to lose that choker. I hope I don't. Oop. Here's another package. Again, it's got the cute little tape on it. Okay, this is her, oh, I like he sewed that on. This is her black jumpsuit. Um, so it's like a body, it's going to be like a bodysuit. Um, like a strapless bodysuit. And then you tie the, the belt around it. And it's just super cute. And I have her some black heels to go with this. This fabric is wonderful. It stretches. And again, I'm just going to. Test a zipper. Oh, 
I just like to check everything out. And they did sew the belt on. I guess you could cut it off if you really wanted to. But I like it. Now I'll try it on her and see what she looks like. So I really, really like that. And they, these outfits were really unique, which is why I bought them. They weren't the cheapest. So don't freak out. Like when you go there, like he's actually lowered his shipping from when I bought it. But to me... When someone's hand making something and it's really, really unique and a lot of people aren't going to have it. Yeah, I need that. <laughs> so here's the third package. Oh my goodness, I'm glad that I opened this before. Um, <laughs> I'm glad I just opened this because... I was just on his Etsy and just almost bought this dress. Like, <gasps> shut the front door. Like, I was actually just about to order this freaking dress. Oh, it's so pretty. I love it. Like, it is the most stretchy, kind of foamy, thick neoprene fabric. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you so much, whoever you are. Like, I can't pronounce the name, but everything is really well made, too. Like, very sturdy, and that's important with doll clothes. And it does have this really pretty little iridescent um, kind of, uh, I don't know what to say, pearl right there. So I love this dress. And on the Etsy, he shows it with some lace tights. And I do have some for her. So this is gorgeous. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Wow, what a surprise. He said he included something. I was thinking like a necklace or something. I didn't really care. I wasn't upset. So that was like amazing. So excited. Ugh. So I definitely know what this is but I'm just making sure I'm not losing something here so the last thing I ordered was this sparkly jumpsuit in white and I got her some belts um, off eBay to go with and I will show you that during their ooh, come on during their closet tour um, but I got her red white and black belt um, that she can wear across here to go with this exact outfit. Now, this particular material doesn't stretch at all. It seems like it's going to be really fitted, but it, it does have sparkles on it. Um, on camera, you can't really tell, but in person, it's like a gold sparkle. And again, it's got the... Well, this one has a couple of the little buttons on it, or the um, pearls to enhance the bust line. Here's the back. And all of these are specifically, oh, this one has a nice zipper too. All of these are specifically, and I, again, I just, I'm checking out the sewing, making sure everything's okay. Um, these are specifically made for Fairyland mini fees. So, I like that. So, it tells me that, you know, the measurements are going to be correct. I'll go ahead and try one on my doll and then come back and show you so you guys have an idea. Okay, so here's one of the outfits. It was really hard to stand her up on my bed. So um, what I did is just paired the white jumpsuit with a black belt and some... She has some other black heels that I actually got from Fairyland that snap onto the magnetic feet. These are really big and clunky. Like, they actually look awkward on her. So, but anyway, I just put them on her. Um, the belts came from Etsy, or not Etsy, I'm sorry, they came from eBay, and they look like this. If you just type in MSD belt, they'll come up. So she has those in all kinds of colors, and she also has those. They look like stripper shoes, to be honest. <laughs> but, um, so here's, like, outfit number one, and I'll put her in one of the dresses so you can see what she looks like. Um, I don't think I can stand this up. Sorry, I'm trying balance this on my bed here um so you can kind of see what she looks like Ooh, it's not working it's not working 
So yeah, if you like stand up, the only thing ooh, I don't like is that I may have to put some like silicone backing on the inside so it won't slip down. But other than that, I really, really like it. So let me put her in a dress and then I'll show you guys what that looks like. Okay, so I have to say that the black one is made out of a different material and I love the black one a lot better. Um, and I paired it with the blazer that I got from Milk Bunny Boutique. And doesn't she look fly? <laughs> like, I love it. Um, and the white stripper shoes don't look so bad. Um, paired as an outfit all together. Um, the shoes I'm just not quite so sure about, but I really love the built-in belt from Autumn Clothing. And yeah, so I will, I just wanted to show you that I, I paired it with the blazer, but I'm going to take it off just to show you guys what it looks like without. Okay, and for those interested, here's what she looks like without the jacket at all. Um, the, like, <clears throat> excuse me, in video, it actually kind of is picking up that it's kind of glittery, but it's really not. It's, it's almost just like a neoprene material, but it fits her beautifully. I love it, love it, love it. So here we go. And then I won't try on both dresses, but I will try on one just in case you guys own a Fairyland mini fee and want to see what it would look like on your mini fee. Oh my goodness, like she's so stinking cute. I don't even know what to do right now. Um, I love this dress. Now, my Celine came with the large bust. And the one thing I like, and please forgive me if I'm not saying it right, but the one thing I like about autumn clothing is that you can tell them if you have the large bust, the cutie bust, or um, there was like another option. But, um, that way they can custom, you know, make the clothes. And this dress fits very, very well. At first I thought it was too tight, but I like that. So, cause she, her, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to lie. Her doll boobs are huge. And, um, like the white jumpsuit wants to slide down. The black one is perfect, but this dress fits her perfectly. So I love that. I love the little bow detail and the glitter. And then I, again, I just paired it with those little stripper shoes she has. She has some, like I said, some heels from Fairyland. But just so you guys can get an idea. Um, she's kind of, because she's strung so tightly, which I'm happy about. Um, because the thought of restringing a doll terrifies me. Um, she wants to fall forward right now. I'm just going to set this down for a sec. I'll show you what it looks like. Sorry, I don't ever do that, but I'm just going to kick her shoes off real quick. She's just in a really, let me shut that off. She's just in a really bad habit of kicking forward. So this is about the length it would come on a mini fee, if you're wondering. I could kind of pull it down some, I guess. But yeah, it's it's a really cute length. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like all the layers up here too. Again, I know it's hard to see on the video, but um, yeah, I really like it. So I just want to show you guys those outfits. And I really love her. Like if you watch my box opening video, she had a, a pink wig. And I still like her in pink, but this platinum wig, I think from now on, um, I really thought she was going to have a black wig. And so far, all the black wigs I've tried her in, I don't like her in. And I really like her in platinum or pink. I do have a purple wig I've not tried on her yet. Um, but I want to keep her in those color tones. I think she looks absolutely stunning. And I only have two more payments on my mini fee Mio. And then Mio will be coming home. So I'm really excited about that. But anyway, so thank you for watching all my fellow BJDers out there. And I hope everyone has a good day. Bye.